Big arms are the things that every guy wants, but only a few have been able to achieve. This was an area I struggled with throughout my whole life, but once I started training smarter, it completely transformed my arms. In this video, we are going to use the latest science and go over the best comprehensive arm workout that will transform your arms. Now for a sculpted arm, it's essential that we have equal growth in all four of the main muscle groups, the biceps, the triceps, the shoulders, and the forearms. Now this workout is comprised of six exercises that will work all four equally. Now the other thing that I wanna point out is that there are no specific form exercises integrated into this workout. However, we are going to be using fat grips for the majority of exercises, which will make the width wider and integrate the forms in pretty much all of the exercises. Now the shoulders are going to be the first muscle group that we target, and the first exercise is going to be dumbbell overhead press. A 2020 research study analyzed different shoulder exercises affecting the activation of the deltoid muscles and found that the shoulder press results in the greatest muscle activation for the middle deltoid and the front deltoid. Therefore, when this exercise is performed properly, it's gonna to lead to superior growth and muscle development. Now, I wanna go over a few tweaks to this exercise that we can implement to make it even more effective. The first of which is to control the descent of the weight aiming for a two to three second lowering phase. Research has shown time and time again that the eccentric phase of an exercise, which is contracting a muscle as it lengthens, is superior for muscle growth. So if we prolong the eccentric phase in this exercise, it's going to increase the time under tension the muscles are working, thus leading to more muscle growth. Now the second tweak that we're gonna make is implementing a one to two second pause at the bottom of the exercise. And this will also increase the time under tension that the muscle is working. Now when it comes to the proper volume for this exercise and every other exercise that we're gonna perform in this video, we're gonna be referring to a 2019 systematic review looking at maximizing muscle hypertrophy or growth. A systematic review looks at all the current research and gives recommendations based on what the current most up-to-date research is suggesting. So this systematic review found that for muscle growth, you wanna aim for three to six sets of 12 reps, aiming for 60 second rest intervals working at a moderate intensity. Now, since we're gonna be performing a higher number of exercises in this workout, we're gonna aim for three to four sets throughout each exercise. And now we're gonna to jump to the second exercise, which is gonna be the rear delt fly machine. Rear deltoids are neglected by many, but they lead to a cap delt look and give you the broad shoulders that give eye-catching arms. Rear deltoids can be difficult to target, especially for beginners, but this exercise makes it very easy. You wanna sit down on the pec deck fly machine in reverse, and the goal is to extend your shoulders back as far as you can. Now, like the previous exercise, we really wanna control the eccentric phase or that lengthening portion which is when you're returning the weight to the starting position. Once again, we are going to perform three to four sets of 12 reps with a rest interval of 60 seconds and be sure to push yourself with this exercise to get the most out of it. Next, we're gonna shift our focus to the triceps and we're gonna jump into the third exercise of this workout, which is skull crushers. Skull crushers place the triceps in an elongated position at the beginning of the exercise, which increases the tension that's placed on the tricep as a whole. A 2023 research article found that the triceps hypertrophy is substantially greater after elbow extension training performed in the overhead position versus the neutral arm position. And this is especially true for the long head of the tricep, which makes up two thirds of the triceps volume as a whole. Now you can perform the skull crushers with either an easy bar or dumbbells, but I prefer the easy bar as it allows you to increase the weight you're performing the exercise with and put more stress on the triceps. And be sure to start with a light weight if it's your first time performing it, because as the name implies, skull crushers can go downhill very fast if you choose a weight that's too heavy. Now, before we jump to exercise number four, if you're enjoying the video so far, be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more fitness videos and content. And now we're gonna jump to the fourth exercise of this video, which is gonna be single arm cable tricep extensions. The cable machine allows you to have equal resistance throughout an exercise, which is a huge benefit compared to any dumbbell exercise. The other benefit is that it allows you to train your arms separately, which can help prevent muscular imbalances and allow you to improve your mind-muscle connection. This exercise will work all three heads of the tricep, however, it's primarily gonna target the long head as it incorporates shoulder extension, which is an added movement that the long head performs. And something you can do to increase the effectiveness of this exercise is to incorporate slight shoulder extension for that very reason and try to implement a one to two second pause at the bottom of the rep to increase the time under tension and lead to more growth. Next, we're gonna jump to the final muscle group, which is biceps for exercise number five, which is gonna be spider curls. Spider curls are one of my favorite bicep exercises, and because your trunk position and gravity 
it changes where the curl is most difficult. During a normal bicep curl, it's most difficult at the middle of the exercise and gets easier at the top. And for spider curls, the hardest part of this movement is at the top, which makes the exercise so effective. To properly perform it, set the height of the bench to about 45 degrees and place yourself face down on the bench. Now make sure to keep your upper arm stationary when you actually perform the curl. A very common compensation with spider curls is to move the upper arm forward recruiting the anterior deltoid and this takes much of the load off the biceps. And once again, I like to incorporate a short pause phase to make the biceps work just a little bit harder. And now for the last exercise of this video, we're gonna go over Zotman curls. Zotman curls are my favorite bicep exercise because they work all three elbow flexors at once. And because we change the wrist position throughout the exercise, it continuously changes which elbow flexor you're working. To properly perform the exercise, we're always gonna change the wrist position at the top of the rep which in turn, like I mentioned, will change which part of the arm we bias. When you have your palms up towards the ceiling, you primarily work the biceps. Whereas when you have your palm down, you primarily work the brachialis and the brachioradialis in the forearm. Each curl that you perform is gonna count for one rep. And once again, we're still aiming for the three to four sets of 12 reps. So at this point of the workout, you're probably gonna be fatigued. So try and push yourself as much as you can and finish strong. And that's it for the workout. Try and give this a try and I promise you, you won't be sorry. And the next thing you need to do to transform your upper body as a whole is get a sculpted chest. So check out this video now where I go over the three best chest exercises that you can perform to get a sculpted and aesthetic chest.